the cauchy schwartz inequality is a very powerful tool in algebra and pardon me if my spelling is wrong i mean i'm not sure about schwartz but uh, there is a very simple way to understand i mean really understand this uh, inequality it um, it has a geometric meaning and the geometric meaning is uh, something like this so let's talk about the geometric meaning uh, of cauchy schwartz inequality uh, a link in the description will take you to some tutorial problems again uh, which will help you to master the ideas presented here so i strongly suggest you look into the link uh, so anyway uh, let's um, look into two-dimensional world and uh, understand i mean really understand what's going on so we can look at the xy plane and take two points say x1 y1 and x2 y2 so what is the distance of let's say this point is a and this point is b so the distance of a from the origin is given by this formula x1 square plus y1 square square root and if you do not know why this formula works that's also fine it's not hard to derive it at all uh, if you think of this point as o drop a perpendicular then this is just the pythagoras theorem this length is x1 well that is the meaning of this first number and this length is y1 which is the meaning of the second number and uh, this is a right angle triangle so you can use pythagoras theorem uh, and x1 square plus y1 square is OA square, OA is this length, and so you get this formula, which is sometimes referred to as the distance formula, the distance formula, and uh, the distance formula is nothing but a disguised form of Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so now, what is the length of OB? Let's look at the length of OB. So OB is again x2 square plus y2 square, square root of that. So we have the length of OA, this is the length of OA, and this is the length of OB. We can actually abbreviate this in a little useful way. So we will write this as this two bars and then B, then two bars again. So this means this length. This means the distance of B from origin and uh, similarly we can write this as uh, two bars then A then the letter A and then two bars again that's the distance of A from origin distance of A from origin so what the cauchy schwartz inequality essentially says is that the distance of A times the distance of B is greater than the dot product of A and B. The dot product of A and B. And if you are familiar with the notion of dot product, that's great. If you are not, then not so, it's, it's also very simple. To describe dot product is x1 y1 dot x2 y2 so if you have two coordinates like this then dot product is just multiply the first one with the first one and add to that the product of the second one with the second one so y1 plus y2 so this is less than or equal to square root of x1 square plus y1 square times square root of x2 square plus y2 square this is um, the cauchy schwarz inequality in two uh, letters, that is x, y. Uh, we, can, we will be extending it to more than two letters. But let's look at this particular object a little bit more carefully because really we don't want to just talk about cauchy schwarz inequality. We want to talk about its geometry. So, uh, I, if you look at this and if you have encountered some amount of trigonometry at any point of your mathematical career, 
then you will immediately recognize uh, that this has a very special meaning. This is the dot product and this is the product of distances and there is a simple and yet intuitive idea that connects these two and what is that so you take the dot product of a and b you divide it by this and in fact you can put an absolute value sign here because a dot b could be negative so like this and what you get even without the absolute value what you get is that this is less than or equal to 1 of course if this is negative then it is definitely less than or equal to 1 but if, if you just put the absolute value here then it definitely is less than or equal to 1 if this is true and we will see in a moment why this will be true but with even without the absolute value so if you lift the absolute value sign this will be between a dot b by absolute value of a uh, I'm sorry the uh, distance of a from origin and the distance of b from origin so this quantity is between uh, negative 1 and positive 1 wait a moment we do not know this we do not know this as of now we are claiming this we are claiming that this is true and why is this true what is the geometry behind this particular ratio what does this ratio actually mean in the in terms of geometry well if this angle is theta if this ang if this angle is theta then there is a connection between this angle and this ratio can you think about it can you give it a thought and if you can then you will immediately see a very easy way to remember that this is the Cauchy Schwartz inequality and it is a purely geometric fact before I end this video let me extend it to n dimensions and what is the n dimensional Cauchy Schwartz inequality well that's uh, if we have two points x1 x2 x3 up to xn so this is one point you have to think of this as a point in the nth dimension and the other one is y1 y2 up to yn this is another point so these are the coordinates of these points and both of them are in n dimensions then the Cauchy Schwartz inequality is simply dot product is less than product of distances so this is the thing that you remember and this is the there is a geometry behind it as I said go to the link in the description to actually see it but first you should think about it yourself so what is the dot product you multiply element wise and then you add it up so x1 y1 plus x2 y2 up to xn yn and that's less than or equal to product of distances product of distances so square root of x1 square up to xn square times y1 square up to yn square this is the end and it is a Pythagoras theorem in the nth dimension there is a very algebraic way of actually proving this thing you do not really have to think about the geometry but if you do then you get an extra layer of meaning and motivation behind the Cauchy Schwartz inequality and that I think is very useful in the long run so I will see you in the next video keep doing great mathematics and um, link in the description will take you to more ideas